Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with more cruise ship engineering goodness. Uh, and I, I probably should have started this entire video series by admitting up front how obsessed I am with ships and seafaring stories in general. I've been reading them for decades. Uh, six years ago, I read all 22 of the Patrick O'Brien Jack Aubrey novels. I've read biographies of at least a dozen ship's captains, uh, including Captain Cook and Lord Nelson. I've read accounts of famous battles like the Nile and the Battle of Trafalgar. And that brings me to one of my all-time favorite ships, the HMS Victory. Uh, 187 feet long, 800 men, 100 guns. This is the ship with which Lord Nelson won the battle at Trafalgar. And it's a remarkable story and a remarkable ship. And here it is in scale to the Sun Princess. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of astounding how far we've come in the making of quote unquote big boats. Uh, but still, if I've learned anything in this series, it's that all the main parts are effectively the same. There's still power for moving forward, whether that's wind or liquid natural gas. There's still room for the crew and guests to eat and to sleep and to do their jobs and their functions. And there is a place for the captain to steer the ship and be able to see where they are going. And I'm really excited about this because I had never visited the bridge of a large ship, specifically a cruise ship, before this series. And they are remarkable places. That's all I'm gonna say in the teaser to this. I think the Sun Princess's Bridge is gonna be one of the three or four most beautiful rooms in the world when they complete it. And it's all about giving the captain the widest possible view of the world to make the best possible decisions about keeping their boats safe. Uh, there's more to say, but I'm gonna let Captain Arma walk us through the rest. Oh my gosh, it's the old bridge was like two, two limbs, but this is all one whole space. All right. Amazing. I'm just imagining like being on the open sea and looking at this expanse. It's gotta be the greatest view in all of the world. Captain Armand told me when I met him last year that in his whole Decades of being a sea captain, he's never missed a sunrise and a sunset from the bridge because it is the most beautiful thing. And I am starting to grok what he's talking about. This is literally the widest spot on the ship. In fact, either end of the bridge extends out over the sides of the boat so that the captain and their team may have the greatest possible situational awareness of where they are. And it is far out to be standing in such an expansive and open space on a construction in which space is the most premium thing. But of course, so is safety. And this is how the captain and their crew will do their job. It really feels like I'm in a gymnasium and it seems almost impossible. They've still yet to lay the floor. They're just putting insulation on the ceilings. You can see evidence of metal cutting as they're pulling out pieces that were obviously part of construction and transport, but not part of the final build out. And I think I'm somewhere about 150 feet off the ground here. It's intoxicating. And now I was on the wheelhouse of the Discovery Princess, which looked like a sort of main section where the crew worked with two long legs to it. <laughs> They're actively working. But this is one huge room. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's totally a new design. Uh, I, I like to say a revolutionary design for really? Princess Cruises. Yes, indeed. Um, and uh, with the aim to uh, improve the external views, yeah. uh, enhance uh, the situation awareness, uh, and reduce uh, the risk of uh, incidents. Amazing. So you'll have, you'll have a small station. Correct. There basically, there will be no more consoles. This is another uh, uh, new thing. Okay. Uh, operators will not sit behind the console, uh, but instead uh, we'll have uh, an obstructed uh, view uh, ahead and uh, the support of 55-inch uh, monitors yeah. positioned on the floor. I'm so, I feel so lucky we got to see this. Thank yeah, you. It's the first time for me too. Oh, really? Yeah, because last time I came, yeah. they were positioning all of this, oh. so I could not enter. So now, finally, I'm in, uh, inside the, the wheelhouse. Incredible. Yeah. 
So this is the bridge we were just on. Correct, Adam. This is a uh, bridge of the Sun Princess. Now explain what I'm looking at here. It looks like everything is much, much lower than on the uh, on the Discovery Princess. Yeah, basically there will be no consoles. So this is one of the big changes, right? The operator will not sit behind uh, a, a, big desk. A, bi a big desk or console. As you can see, uh, the operator is sitting- Oh, uh, right. They're just looking at open space. Right, at the very front of the bridge, you know, at the very front part of the bridge yeah. and uh, they will have this uh, unobstructed view um, with uh, an information bar oh, up top. above above the windows okay. yeah uh, where all uh, the information regarding the ship speed depth of the water uh, weather uh, wind uh, pod setting everything cctv cameras will be available mm -hmm. and um, the aim of this design is to improve situation uh, uh, awarenesses is to improve external views and reduce as well the risk of uh, incidents. Yeah. And in addition, uh, with this layout, uh, there will be an improvement on both verbal and physical communication uh, across the, the, the bridge team member and uh, uh, a reduction in uh, back, background noise. Wow, so you have more access to the view, more access to the world and more access to each other. And uh, the team will be more efficient. Yeah, it's incredible. and it. I mean, on the Discovery Princess, the bridge was so beautiful, but it felt like this was a hallway, and this now feels just like one unbroken, it's one unbroken room. It is indeed one unbroken room with uh, only essential uh, instrumentation, uh, only what is really needed and required with a different layout, as you can see. And, um, and it's quite exciting because, like I say, this is, will be the very first time for uh, any princess ship uh, wow. to, to, to have a bridge, uh, bridge like that. Uh, I imagine that a sunrise and a sunset in here must be a very special moment. It is normally a very special moment. On this bridge will be even more because, uh, like we said, you know, the, you have this uh, uh, unobstructed view ahead yeah. of you. So uh, it will be even more special. When you're sailing and you're under sail and you're with your crew and everyone's doing their thing, but it's a particularly beautiful sunset, do you, do you folks pause and... Sort of, this is nice? Well, you see, if uh, we are in area in an open water with yeah. no traffic uh, and nothing, uh, uh, no, no dangers, sure. let's say, of immediate concern, uh, you do take your time to, 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 enjoy, <laughs> to, enjoy, it, it. to enjoy the sunrise and the sunset. Now, I, I see names for all of these, but I don't see captain. Where yeah, does, basically, like, um, when we operate um, on arrival and departure, everyone uh, takes a role, mm -hmm. and uh, the captain can either be the navigator, co-navigator, uh, or the ops director. Oh, okay. So it's really up to the captain uh, allocate positions amongst the bridge team. So and uh, we um, we like to uh, we like to um, allow uh, officers to make experience in different uh, uh, level. Uh, oh, you know, uh, amongst the bridge team. Sure. So um, there is no such like captain, uh, sub captain, or first officer, but there is instead the navigator, which is the the officer that is conning the vessel, right. the co-navigator clearly is assisting the navigator, and the ops director is the person that, as you can see, sits behind right. and, uh, and monitors the entire operation uh, and will uh, give inputs if, if needed. I'm, I can't wait to come back and see this, I, and see the windows open and get to see the view. I share the same excitement. <laughs>